um, heat protectant and my favourite before was the Dove um, heat, yeah, heat protectant, I don't know what it's called exactly. Um, but yeah, I just went to buy another one and I didn't want to spend loads so they had this small version of the Tony and Guy Prep Heat Protection Mist for a smooth and prepped finish. Um, it contains ingredients like water, it's water based, um, hydrogenated castor oil, glycerin um, and then just lots of random things but I felt like this worked really well for me and um, it made it quite easy to get the hair um, straight when I blow dried it and at first I blow dried then I straightened it so that worked really well then I've got this product from Texture My Way that I got at the Aunt Jackie is it Aunt or Auntie Auntie Jackie's um be, uh, sorry Auntie Jackie's hair event last week uh, last year sorry <laughs> I've been meaning to try it but I haven't really um straightened my hair since then or I think before I was using something else but it's called the naturally straight shea butter and olive oil and um, flat iron or straightener or ultra straightening and smoothing butter um, and it has, um, contains no sulfates, parabens, petroleum, petrolatum or mineral oil um, blah 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 it protects from heat damage and leaves hair super shiny and movable this is really true I've never tried a product this good like I usually use the um, like the heat protectant serums and they're to be honest in my opinion they're all the same because they're silicone based some contain mineral oil some don't most don't I've reviewed quite a few, I'll include the links to those reviews in my blog but I've never had one that was like, it's amazing but this is amazing and how it's different is that it contains um, silicones and I think that's good because that's meant to be the heat protectant to protect the hair but yeah and then so the first two ingredients are different forms of silicones and then there's beeswax um, the other wax <laughs> Um, shea butter blah 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 and then it contains loads of oils and then it contains two types of proteins um hydrolyzed um wheat protein and hydrolyzed wheat starch oh no that's not protein and then hydrolyzed um glycine soya soybean protein there's argan oil coconut oil carrot seed oil olive oil and yeah shea butter I said that yeah so this is what it looks like it kind of looks like those um hair greases hair, hair grease hair thing scalp thing I mean scalp grease <laughs> it kind of looks like the scalp grease that we used to have and like you know part the hair and put all over your scalp anyway is really good so that's what I'm gonna use now this one I've already showed you but then to refreshing it like let's say after like four or five days I just use this for a bit of shine like, I don't really use sheen sprays because they usually contain mineral oil and this one is um, olive oil argan oil and yeah stuff like that it's good and I'm gonna show you how I style it now for one section like this and then I just start with the ends and just work it through. As you can see I was using my straightener to just 
straight in the roots and just curl the ends like soft curls you could brush the curls out a bit more but obviously it won't stay completely put so it's probably like so it's probably gonna unravel a bit by itself um i'm not using like a particularly good straighteners but it's called gama gama i don't know and it's called um ceramic tourmaline uh, i can't pronounce it anywho yeah this is the result i'm gonna probably include some pictures um yeah and that's it for now um oh yeah in terms of what i want to do with my hair so i kind of touched on it already but i want to do more protective styles so like maybe straighten it then have it in twists and then braids or something and then repeat that so maybe straighten it every three months or so and i'm gonna try to not wear wash and goes and my hair in its natural state because it's just breaking off um i'm also gonna try hair vitamins um i got um a company that i might be reviewing soon so hopefully i'll do that otherwise i'll just buy some hair vitamins um to try that to try and get my growth back and but yeah i'm glad i trimmed it i trimmed quite a lot and it still looks like the length is still fine so i'm quite pleased with that um and yeah in terms of hair goals i i want long hair because i've never had that and i was always trying to grow it out when i had relaxed hair but now i don't mean like super long but maybe um down to here when it's straight and like now down to here so that's just another year of growth but you know hair breaks so maybe in a couple of years i'll be at the my goal and um, my goal length um this doesn't need to grow anymore but i still want it to keep growing because when it's um shrunken in its natural state i can hardly even put it in a ponytail even though it's this long which is ridiculous but that's just because of the shrinkage so yeah i want some more length here obviously i need this bit to grow a bit because it's kind of been the same since last year but yeah i'm quite happy with how my hair is now and um, thank you for watching. If you've got any suggestions or videos you'd like me to do, please let me know. Bye.